The title of this video is The Price of Comfort versus the Reward for Discomfort. I would suggest you stick around to the end of the video because this is probably one of the most important video uh, that you know that I that I'm making. So we all get influenced by what's going on in the world, what's three inches in front of people's face. And we want to be comforted that others agree with our decisions. So, if we go back to the COVID days, when COVID hit, everyone was in panic. And there were certain companies, certain stocks that benefited very well from COVID and by owning them, it provided a lot of comfort for people. Now, we are almost three years since COVID started. Let's have a look at the price of comfort. The first stock that I want you to look at is Amazon. Amazon was the comfort stock during COVID. Everybody was going to stay at home and order things on Amazon and not go out to get sick. So I heard people buy Amazon because everybody's going to stay home and you can't go wrong with Amazon. It's Amazon. Everybody knows Amazon. You cannot go wrong with Amazon. So if you look at the bottom where Amazon was, in March 2020, about $90. And then, yes, it ran up uh, almost 110%. And then since that peak, it is down 54%. So in other words, today, the stock price is lower than what it was during the low of peak. So as if COVID didn't happen. So people were stupid enough to buy this Oh, because everybody was going to stay at home. And did it turn out to be the right investment decision? Well, no, but it was comforting. And the price for the comfort was that, you know, it wasn't the right decision. We're back to square one. Another stock that was like this was Zoom, of course. Everybody's going to stay home and not go anywhere. Zoom, 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 Zoom. Uh, pay any price for it, no matter what. So from the from the bottom, Zoom was at like 67 and ran up 730%. And then since then, Zoom is down almost 88%. So now Zoom is pretty much at the same level that it was before COVID started. Even though Zoom benefited tremendously from COVID, we are back to square one as if COVID never started. The price of comfort. Netflix, the same thing. In the bottom, in the bottom of March 2020, 332. Everybody's going to stay home and buy Zoom. They said it to them a hundred times. You can't go wrong with Netflix. The stock went up a hundred percent since the peak. It went down 75%, but now it recovered a little. It's still down 53%. So now at the bottom of COVID, from the, bo no, from the bottom of COVID, 300, 332 to today, even after the stock is up 50%, you would have been down 5%. The price of comfort and following the crowd. Now, now I want to show you what happened to the stocks that I talked about in the how to profit from the coronavirus recession. There was 50 stocks in this book. Let's see how they performed from the bottom of COVID to today, even though those stocks were not the COVID stocks. They didn't benefit from the COVID bump, right? They were just fantastic companies that sold off. 
Berkshire Hathaway. It was the idea number one. Yeah? First idea, Berkshire Hathaway. The bottom, the bottom of COVID. To today, 87% up. Even though we are at the worst stock market sell-off since 2008. Berkshire Hathaway, non-COVID stock, non-comfort stock, is up 87%. The price of comfort versus the, the, the reward of discomfort. Copart. Copart is, uh, is a company that provides, uh, after, the, after the car gets into an accident, insurance companies get the cars and then they have to put them somewhere to, and then they sell them on auctions through Copart. The bottom of COVID... $30 to today, you would have still been up almost 110% after, after the sell-off of 18%. But notice that those stocks like Berkshire Hathaway and Copart, they didn't really sell off really hard during the sell-off. Why? Because they're fantastic companies. But still stick around. Winmark Corporation, Plato's Closet, you know, used clothing, Definitely not a COVID stock, right? Everybody is going to be stuck at home buying on Amazon. They're not going to be going to Plato's Closet. So Winmark was the uh, retail retail play. Definitely didn't, didn't benefit from COVID. From the low to today, you would have been up 110%. The reward for buying, the reward for discomfort. Coaster Group, Coaster Group, the real estate, real estate uh, company. I used real estate, the Coaster Group, during my real estate appraising days. They provide uh, data for commercial real estate data for appraisers, banks. Yeah, from 52, 46% to today. Booking Holdings. Kayak, you know, booking airlines, airlines, uh, hotels, cars, online, booking holdings. Definitely not a COVID play. Didn't benefit from COVID because nobody was flying, right? Everybody was going to stay at home. Definitely not a COVID play. From the bottom, up 85% to today. OTC Markets Group. Uh, OTC Markets Group is, uh, you know, over the counter, you know, penny stocks. They provide, uh, they're the main provider for trading and things like that for OTC. Definitely not COVID, right? From the bottom, 24, 133%. Barely sold off at all during the worst stock market sell off ever. Moody's. You know, credit rating agencies, Moody's, Standard & Poor, from the bottom of COVID to today, 65% up. Sold off a little bit. Sold off as much as 40%, but now it's only down 27% from the peak. Visa, from the bottom of COVID to today, 48% up. Barely any sell-off. Barely any sell-off during the worst stock market sell-off. PayPal. PayPal is, is one of the worst performing ones in this book. So at first, PayPal went up significantly, about 255%, and it's sold off. Sold off. It's down about 75%. But from, from the COVID low to today, um, so it's down about... 11%. Automatic data processing, the payroll company, right? From the bottom of COVID to today, 114%. How is that possible? This is not a COVID stock. 
It didn't benefit much from COVID, yet it's up over 100% during the worst market sell-off, and yet the darlings of COVID, you can't see any benefit from them, you know, COVID. Again, price of comfort versus the reward for discomfort. H&R Block, remember they do your taxes. Bottom of COVID to today, 200% up. 200%. eBay, from the bottom of COVID, up 64%. From the peak, it, it is down. It is down some. It is down about 44%. But again, from the bottom of COVID to now, 64%. Very sign. Bottom of COVID to today, up 30%. Norfolk Southern Corp. Ra railroad. From the bottom of COVID to today, 106%. Republic Services, the garbage collection company, From the bottom of COVID to now 79% up. Sintas Corporation, you know, uniforms, renting uniforms for companies. Bottom of COVID to now 170%. Remember what the title was? How to profit from the coronavirus recession? Three years later, it's not looking too bad, is it? O'Reilly Automotive. Used auto, um, auto parts, right? Not a COVID play. People were going to stay home and not drive. They were going to just stay home in the basements and do nothing, right? Definitely then didn't benefit from the COVID fear. 220% up since then. Texas Pacific Land. Four hundred forty-five percent. Lincoln Electric Holdings, 122%. UMH Properties, Mobile Home Parks, REIT for Mobile Home Parks, 65%. That sold off a little bit here, and I suspect this has a lot to do with the interest rates going up because commercial real estate, when interest rates go go up, they become less valuable. But still, from the bottom of COVID, 65%. Expel, you know, the paint protection company? From the bottom of COVID to today, 562%. Oroco. From the bottom of COVID, 20 cents, 320%. Even after a sell-off of 75%. We're still up 320%. Scorpio tankers. Well, Scorpio tankers, it's a little different because it was the darling. It was the darling. All the tankers were the darling of COVID because three inches in front of people's face, they were going to benefit. But they they sold off a little bit. But let's just say from the from from the peak, from the peak of of COVID here. Ninety seven percent. TK tankers. Twenty percent. I'm, notice I'm not going from from the bottom on these. I'm going from the top of the COVID. Uh, Euronef, almost 40%. DHT Holdings, 9% or 10% up. So where am I going with this? Again, the price for comfort and then the reward for discomfort. Now, it changes all the time. Where are we today? Where is the comfort? The comfort is, you know where comfort is? In these good names. 
Berkshire Hathaway, Cintas, all of the, the ones that I talked about, that's where the comfort is today. That's where everybody wants to be. During COVID, everybody wanted to be in Amazon, Zoom, Netflix. That's where the comfort was. Today, the comfort is in the best qualities, profitable companies, cash flowing companies. That's where the comfort is. So, do you think this is the best place to be, to make money? Where there's comfort? Or do you think it's best to be in places where there is discomfort? Where is discomfort right now? Where is the three inches in front of people's face that there is discomfort? Well, the companies that are not the profitable, safe, everything else is discomfort, right? But now, just because you're going to invest in companies that you're not comfortable with, means you're going to make money. Are you going to make money uh, investing in the Ponzi sector, like the Tattooed Chef, Smile Direct Club, right? No, because those companies are not very good. I would say the, the best money now going forward is going to be made on the companies that sold off heavily, but are on the cusp of profitability are very close to profitability. Because remember, the value is the uh, net present value of the future cash flows. Future cash flows. So if you have a company that's going to be profitable in year two, three, four, five, six, whatever, but maybe not right now, those future cash flows are, are what's going to give this value today, right? But everybody today wants to feel comfortable and they're piling in to the safest bets that there are. It's not going to turn out very well. Now, the reason why I wrote about those most of the safest companies in this book, and, and there's 50 ideas here. There was, uh, there, there was, I wanted to show you the big caps, mostly the big caps, because they're most comparable to the Amazons, to the Netflix, right? They're, they're, they're the peer group. Um, in the book, there were also some micro caps and there were also some dividend plays. I'm not going to show you all 50, but mo most of the ideas in this book worked out very well, just like I showed you. Uh, but I focused on those great, fantastic ideas during COVID because during COVID, there was so much uncertainty. I needed to find stocks that are fantastic, companies that are so strong that, that nothing will kill them. Okay? And that's why... You saw companies like Berkshire Hathaway, Booking Holdings, Copart, CoStar, and you didn't see companies like Delta Airlines or uh, Cruise Lines because those companies, they were swimming in debt. Uh, they were not great businesses. They didn't have good liquidity. And I felt there was no reason to take too much risks, too much risk when the fantastic companies sold off just as much. But today, we are in a different market. Today, we are in the market where those companies like Berkshire Hathaway, they are the darlings, right? Everybody is piling into them. And that's why from the peak, they're not down much, right? Berkshire Hathaway is down only 10% from the peak. Copart is only down 18% from the peak. Winmark, Plato's Closet, is down 70% from the peak. CoStar Group is down only 22% from the peak. Uh, Booking Holdings is only down 17% from the peak, right? Those companies are not selling off because everybody is piling into them. That's where they find comfort. Today, where you plant the money will determine your returns over the next two, three, five years. If you go into places where everybody finds comfort, I doubt you're going to find outsized returns. But if you go into places where you find discomfort, but you've got to be selective. you got to find companies that still are good, they have something special in them, and most importantly, they are either profitable today 
uh, slightly profitable today or will be profitable uh, in the future. This is where the alpha is today. Now, but if three inches in front of your face is, I have to sit in the most safe place because that's what I read in the articles, then this you're going into places where everybody is going to. So anyway, we're only going to know in two to three years how it's going to work out. But remember, there's a price for comfort and there might be a big reward for discomfort.